Today, I'm going to show you all the bottles I was able to get in 2023 so far. Welcome to Whiskey Me. My name is David. And spring of 2023 is already over. But luckily, I was able to pick up a few bottles I know I wanted to review for you guys. And so I'm very excited for these. I will reveal the prices on the review videos and let you, know, let you know my thoughts. Is it a buy? Is it not? Well, we'll find out. All right, so let's get straight to the whiskey haul. First bottle, Peerless Double Oak. This is twice barreled in new oak. It is non-chill filtered and strictly sweet mash. It comes in at 108.4 proof. The reviews of last year's batch was fantastic. And so when I was able to see it this year, I clicked on buy as quick as possible. <laughs> and so it, it, I am very, very excited for this. I mean, I wanna open it right now, let's be honest, but I'll wait for you guys. All right, next bottle, Barrel Bourbon Limited Release Cash Strength New Year's Edition 2023. This one comes in at 113.54 proof, and it's a blend of whiskeys from eight states. It's from Tennessee, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Wyoming, New York, Texas, and Maryland. Whew. I have not been to any of these states, and I don't think I even been to eight states in total. So this is a well-traveled bourbon that's gonna just end up in my stomach. <laughs> and so I'll let you know if this bourbon is worth the mileage. Next bottle in the first rye, Sagamore Spirits Reserve Series eight-year-old rye whiskey. Mash and Drum did a review of this and he called it a poor man's Thomas H. Handy. Um, I had a pour of Thomas H. Handy and it was out of this world. So I don't know how much of a poor man she can get, but if this reminds me of that poor, I will let you guys know. All right. Next up, Four Roses Single Barrel, Barrel Strength, Whole Foods Pick Recipe OESV, aged nine years, 11 months. This one comes in at 58.9 ABV, which is 117.8 proof. And the story of this is actually, I went to Whole Foods and asked for the single barrel. They had it, they didn't have any on the shelf and it was a good price. So I asked if they had any, the associate went to the back, came back with this. <laughs> Obviously they didn't give me the regular single barrel price, but I got this one at a really good price. And obviously I wasn't expecting it. So it was a lucky, lucky haul. And again, I can't wait to try this one as well. I never had the OS, OESV. And so I'll let you know how it is. Next up, it's actually a pair. It's gonna be the Redwood Empire. Bottled and Bond Straight White Risky, which is the Rocket Top, and then the Cash Strength Rye Whiskey, the Emerald Giant. The Bottled and Bond comes out at 100 proof. It's aged five years. And I believe Red Mimic actually did a review of this a couple of months ago, and he absolutely loved it. So I picked it up. The second one, the Cash Strength comes in at 116.4 proof, and it's aged at least four years. And I love the regular Emerald Giant. So when I saw the cash drink version, I wanted to pick it up to see if it's that much better. Um, I, I don't know how much better it could get than the regular Emerald Giant, but I am a proof found. So, hey, let's try it out and I'll let, you, I'll let you guys know if it's worth the money. Next up, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C922. This is 12 years old and non-chill filter. I know the A123 is out, but from what I heard, C922 was the best batch of 2022, and I was able to pick it up locally at MSRP. So, you know what? It's a great buy. Hopefully, it tastes great as well. The next up is going to be the Frey Ranch Single Barrel Barrel Strength. It's a store pick from Total Wine and More. I picked it up, obviously, from Total Wine. 
And this one comes in at 128.04 proof and is distilled from four slow grown grains. It is non-chill filtered and just like the four roses, it's barrel proofs or barrel strength does not come in non-store picks. They all have to go through the store pick program. And so it is a lot harder to find than regular barrel strength. Um, so when I saw it on the shelf, I picked it up and I was about to open it that day. Then I remember, I gotta wait for you guys. <laughs> and so hopefully it's worth the wait. It's worth the price. It's a pretty hefty price. So I'll get that review on very quickly. The last bottle and the one that I was most excited about, Michter's Limited Release Barrel Strength Straight Rye Whiskey. Oof, I had a pour of this at a bar and I decided at that moment, I had to get a bottle. I had to wait six months for the right opportunity, but I hope it's worth it. I don't know if that pour at the bar was just an exceptional one or just it was, I was just in a good mood, but hopefully this bottle lives up to my hype and lives up to the price point. I mean, I, did, I paid a hefty penny for this one. So um, yeah. So guys, this is my whiskey hub of spring 2023. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you want me to review next. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.